Okay, pet parents, who's ready to tackle the topic of leptospirosis? Boo, 52! Huh? <laughs> Now when you get down to brass taxes, look, I don't really have a good joke for that. So just like pretend I said something funny, okay? <laughs> Leptospirosis is simply a bacterial infection. Now that being said, it can be a really nasty bacterial infection. As with most other bacterial infections, leptospirosis is picked up from the environment and more commonly it's picked up from coming into contact with either urine or body tissues from other infected animals. And the dog or cat doesn't have to come into direct contact with the urine or the body tissues in order to get infected. They can pick this up from coming into contact with water, soil, or even food that has been contaminated with the urine or the body tissues. And the reason this little bug can be so nasty is because it can wreak havoc on so many different organ systems, the liver, the kidneys, the spleen, eyes, lungs, the central nervous system, the no-no organs, you get the picture. After a pet's infected, once the bacteria gets into the bloodstream, it starts to weaken the walls of the blood vessels, which will cause fluid to leak out, and that can lead to bleeding, vasculitis, inflammation, and it can even mess up the clotting system. From there, the bacteria will start to spread to other parts of the body, and we can see a whole bunch of different issues pop up depending on what organ system the bacteria is playing hide and seek in. And some of these issues on their own accord can be fatal. More commonly, however, we know that leptospirosis loves to hit the liver and the kidneys and it can hit those guys hard. Leptospirosis can hit the liver so hard that it puts pets into fulminant liver failure, which we can't always treat. And it can damage the kidneys so bad that they go into what's called anuric renal failure, meaning the kidneys are so badly damaged, they just stop producing urine. Thankfully, leptospirosis is fairly easy for us to diagnose, and we have plenty of different tests that we can use to help us detect it. And even though they're not 100% effective, we do have a vaccine for leptospirosis. Since leptospirosis is a bacteria, in theory, it's really straightforward to treat with antibiotics. And currently, doxycycline is the heavyweight champion of treating leptospirosis. On top of antibiotics, we'll also provide pets with aggressive supportive care depending on what complications they're having to the actual infection. And as I alluded to earlier, in pets that go into aneuric renal failure, the only way we can support them through that is with hemodialysis, which unfortunately is not only expensive, but also not widely available for our furry friends. The prognosis of leptospirosis varies greatly depending on so many different factors with mortality rates anywhere from 40 to 90% in certain cases. 